rush for the wicket over in the no rush for the wicket over in League Two as of course the vegans remain top of the bloody pops. But can anyone realistically catch them this coming weekend? We'll take a little look. Nah. Today we're quarter match number 19 over in League 2 and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been, smash your subscribe to keep you bang up to date with all things League 2 related, Blab and Rose related, world football related, in a bloody car. We're in a car, the sun is out and it's blinding, blinding the bloody camera. But of course we've got to keep on keeping on. Of course predictions must keep on going. As of course the Vegas remain top of the pops. We'll take a look at how they are in just a second. Big big shout out to my VIPs. Who are they? They're the Patreons, boys and girls. Thank you for your support. Of course, continuing uh, support behind the scenes. Anyway, if you're interested in helping us out, check out the links down below, patreon.com forward slash Rover So now we'll jump in the deep end, of course, and recap uh, the games that did take place uh, last tabaroon, then, shall we? Of course, where are we? Actually, we've got to go back a little bit here. Hang on. Um, it's, all, it's all a little bit jiggery-pokery. So let's get into it, of course, and take a little look back at those games, of course which took place, of course, Tuesday, I think, because uh, we got games coming at you. I think uh, Friday is the first. So here uh, we uh, go. So let's take a look back. And Carlisle picked up a cheeky loss against uh, Harrogate Town. Tuna win for them. Uh, Colchester United, of course, a recent good bit of form with them. 3-1 win over Exeter City. Uh, Crawley Town, uh, and Newport County, duked out to a 1-1 draw. The Vegans, of course, disposed to Barrow Tuna win the end. Uh, Newport County, of course, 2-1 win over Oldham. Of course, Keith Kill has been sacked, gone. Uh, Port Vale. Lost again. Wolves still win for them. One they win uh, to keep on keeping on for them. Rochdale uh, two two draw against Stevenage. Salford City one one draw against Bristol Rovers. Uh, of course, Scunthorpe United also drew with Leighton Orient one one draw there. Sutton United back to winning ways at long last with a 2 win over Mansfield Town. Swindon, 3-1 winners over Hartlepool. And of course, at the bottom there, uh, Tramway did beat Bradford City. Of course, it's not really working out, is it, for Ar Adams at the moment uh, for Bradford City. Let's take a look at the table then, shall we? Of course, Forest Green Rovers, uh, five points clear over Exeter City, of course, who dropped points this week. Uh, Swindon down up to third. Of course, good discretion to be there. They're kicking ass. Northampton, Northampton down to fourth. Portvale, fifth. Hunt, uh, Harriet Town are in sixth. And Sutton United are in seventh. Down to the table, it's Scunthorpe Carlisle going down as of right here, right now. So let's take a look. look then of course at the prediction league if we can look at it here it is uh go uh it's thinking about it it's thinking about it uh bang bish bash bosh coming at you where is it there it is all righty then let's take a look at the next one of matches then shall we kick it all off with carlisle up against bloody Walsall. so let's get into this bloody mess then shall we of course uh carlisle and also play each other 19 times since uh, 2003 five wins to carlisle six wins to Walsall, and we've been eight draws of course carlisle coming to this uh three games without a win for them 42 percent form up against the Walsall side just one win in uh four 58 percent form as well of course coming at you last round in carlisle's a nil nil draw back in may 2021 uh of course and of course carlisle did lose to harrogate last round Walsall picked up a one win over port Vale last night. Look at the odds on this one. Carlisle 64 for the victory. 25 is your draw. 95 is your away win. That is, of course, Walsall on this one. Going to go with a win, I think. 2 1 win for Walsall on this one. Colchester take on Newport County. That is right. Of course, played on the nine times in 2016. Four wins for Colchester. Three wins for Newport County and two draws, of course. Colchester coming to this. Of course, winning three and losing three of the last six. 50% form up against the Newport County side, who have actually just one win in five for them. 42% form as well. Last round in Colchester was a 2 win for Newport County. That was back in March 2021. Colchester picking up a three. 3-1 win of Exeter last round. Newport County picking up a 1-1 draw against Crawley. Look at the odds on this one on Friday, of course. 5-2 is your Colchester. 23-20 is, of course, your away win. That's Newport County. 23-10 is your draw. 2-2 two -two for me on this one. Crawley Town taking on Mansfield Town, of course, uh, on Saturday. Played for the 17 times in 2008. Six wins for Crawley. we got seven wins for Mansfield and we've got four draws, of course. One win, of course, the last six for Crawley. 25% form up against the Mansfield side. Mansfield Town side just won defeat the past six for them for 83% form. Last round, of course, that Crawley did beat Mansfield. Of course, it was a 1-0 win in uh, Mansfield and Crawley. That's back in March 2021. Crawley picking up a 1-1 draw against Newport County. Mansfield picking up a 2-0 loss against Sutton United. Of course, Crawley, 6-4 on for the victory. Of course, 9-5 is your away win and 12-5 is your draw. A 2-1 win for me, for Mansfield, on this of course, the vegans are looking fantastic. Up against the Bristol Rovers side, who just don't know what to do. Uh, played each other six times in 2014. Three wins for Forest Green, two for Bristol Rovers, and one draw. Uh, of course, Forest Green just one defeat by six for them, 75% form. Up against the Bristol Rovers side, who have actually unbeaten the last four. In fact, just one defeat by six, 58% form as well. Of course, last time around, they played each other. Well, I might have been a friendly. Um, I don't know. I think last time they played each other in competitive action in Forest Green was a 1 1 draw back in 2014. Uh, of course, Forest Green picked up a tuna win over Barrow last time around. Bristol Rovers 
picked up a 1-1 draw against Salford last time. I look at the odds on this one. Forest Green, 10-7 on for the victory. 4-1 is your away win. That's, of course, Bristol Rovers. And 11-4 is your draw. 2 to win for the vegans for me on this one. Next, of course, I have Northampton Town up against Leighton Orient, of course. Now, these two sides have played each other, according to my eyes, about 20 times since 2013. Seven wins for Northampton, six for Leighton Orient, and seven draws, of course. Northampton, just one win and six for them. 33 to form up against the Leighton Orient side. Unbeaten in the last 11 games, picking up four wins in the past six. Of course, 83% form as well. Last round in Northampton, uh, in the league, was a one-and-win for Leighton Orient back in 2019, of course. That was back in October. Of course, Northampton did beat a Leighton Orient last round. Of course, cost the man a job. Me and Leighton Orient picked up a one and draw against uh, uh, Scunthorpe last round. Look at the odds on this one then, shall we? Leighton Orient coming at you. Of course, 90 to 10 for the victory. The home side, Northampton 30 to 8 for the victory. 21 to 20. Or 21 to 10 is your draw here. 2-2 two, two for me, though, on this one. Not for me, no, but for me, though. Of course, Port Vale picking up, uh, taking on Hartlepool. Of course, played each other 10 times in 2013. Or since 2003, sorry. Seven wins for Hartlepool, two wins for Port Vale, and one draw. Port Vale coming to this without a win in three. Now 58% form up against the Hartlepool side. Just one win in five for them. 42% form as well. Last round in uh, in in the league in Port Vale was a 2 0 win for Hartlepool. Hartlepool back in, I think, League One 2007. Goodness gracious me. Of course, Port Vale picking up a loss last round against Walsall. Hartlepool picking up a loss against Swindon last round. Look at the odds on this one. Port Vale 4 to 3 on for the victory. 4 to 1 is your away win, and 13 to 5 is your draw. A 2 1 win for me for Port Vale on this. Take it to the house. Next, of course, we have Rochdale. They go down excellent, of course. Rochdale doing okay, I think. Uh, up against Exeter, who are flying high. Played each other 12 times in 2002. Three, uh, three draws, of course, between two sides. Four wins for Rochdale, five wins for Exeter, of course. Exeter coming to this. Just one defeat past six, 10 5% form. Up against the Rochdale side, one defeat past six as well. 50% form, however, drawing a lot of games. Last round, of course, over in Spotland was a 3 1 win for Rochdale back in November 2013. Of course, Rochdale picking up a 2 2 draw against uh, Stevenage last round. Exeter picking up a 3 1 loss against Colchester, of course. Looking on the odds on this one, we have Port, uh, Rochdale 31 20 for the victory. 9 5 is your away win. And we got uh, 23 10 is your draw. Two, what do we have here? We got a 3 1 win for Exeter on this one. Salford City up against Oldham Athletic. Let's take a look at this one then, shall we? Of course, pleasure the five times since 2019. Two wins for Oldham, two wins for Salford, and one draw. Of course, Salford coming to this unbeaten last five now, picking up four wins, three wins, and two draws. Uh, 67% form up against the Oldham side, who I've got a manager right now, with just one win in six uh, for them. 25% form as well. Last time, pleasure in Salford was a 2 0 win for Salford back in, two, uh, in 2020. I think it was in a league trophy, something like that. I don't even know. League two, maybe. Yeah, League Two back in uh, October. Of course, Salford uh, did uh, pick up a draw against Bristol Rovers last round. Oldham did lose to Northampton last round. Look at the odds on this one, then, shall we? What do we have on this one? Uh, uh, Salford, 11 8 on for the Richie 35 is draw. 70 to 4 is your away win. That's Oldham on this one. 1 0 win for Salford on this uh, to take to the house. Next, of course, we have Scunthorpe United uh, taking on Bradford City, of course. That's right. Of course, now these two sides play each other 19 times in 2005. Six wins for Scunthorpe, five, five wins for Bradford, and eight draws, of course. Scunthorpe without a win at least six games. Up against the Bradford side, just one defeat at the past six. However, just one win in six as well, 50% form, uh, of course. Last time in Scunthorpe was a 2 win for Scunthorpe. That was back in March 2021. Scunthorpe picking up a draw against Leighton Orient last round. Bradford picking up a 2 1 loss to Tranmere last round. Look at the odds on this one. Scunthorpe coming out your 3 1 on for the victory. 2019 on is your Bradford and 12 to 5 is your draw. I've gone with a 2 1 for Bradford City on this one on the road. Uh, next up, we've got Sutton United up against Barrow. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Of course, now these two sides. They should eight times in 2016. Three wins for Barrow, one for Sutton, and four draws. Of course, Sutton just one defeat the past four games for them. Uh, Scrap that one defeat the past five, actually. 67 percent form for them right now. Against the Barrow side, who haven't won in three. Uh, of course, last round in Sutton was a 2-2 draw uh, back in February 2020. Of course, that was in uh, the league, I think. Uh, of course, I mean, Sutton United picking up a 2 win over Mansfield last round. Barrow uh, lost to Forest Green Rovers, of course, last round. Look at the odds on this one. Sutton coming out to 11-10, but the victory 11-4 is your away when That's Barrow, of course, 9-4 is your draw. Nil nil for me on this one. Next, of course, a Swindon Town. I guess Harrogate Town, of course, over in Swindon. And these two sides play each other. Never, of course. Swindon Capitals winning five of the bouts. 83 percent form. I guess the Harrogate side winning three and losing three. Of course, at the last six. Of course, Swindon picked up a 3 1 win over Harrogate, uh, uh, Hartlepool. Of course, uh, Harrogate picked up a 2 1 win over uh, Carlisle last time. Tight one, this one. 11 10 is your Swindon. 5 2 is your away win. And 5 2 is also your draw. I'm going with a 2 1 win there for Swindon on this one. And then finally, we have Tramier up against Stevenage. Let's take a look at this one. Played each other 12 times in 2011. Three wins apiece and six draws, of course. Tramier coming to this just one defeat in the past five for them. 58% form up against the Stevenage side. Just one defeat in the past six. 67% form for them as well. Uh, of course, last time around in Tramier was a 1 0 win for Stevenage. That was back in February 2021. Uh, of course, Tramier picking up a 2 1 win over Bradford last time around. Of course, Stevenage picking up a 2 2 draw against Rochdale. Look at the odds here. Even Stevens is your Tramier. 29 to 10 is your Stevens and 9 to 4 is your draw. 2 0 win for me for Tramier on this to take it to the bloody house. Oh, goodness gracious me. That's my picks. Be sure to get your own picks in as well. Uh, use the savvy code or the website, Cutley Forshaw League 2, to get in amongst it. But that, my friends, is just about that. Be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. I'll check you out, of course, when we come back, at, back around next, week, next, next weekend. We should be back uh, at home for the next round of matches, of course. But until then, guys, I'll see you soon. Until then, guys, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe.